All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the CSA Contaris Probes mod, which is being made by forum user HRaban. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a small collection of parts to build probes and satellites with. And who doesn't love that? Especially considering it is now just one of quite an impressive collection of parts parts mods being made by Atraban. And you may actually remember a couple of weeks back we looked at, I believe was actually the first one that he released, which was CSA Contere's I, which was again another set of satellite parts, and I figured with trying to go through his collection now, Probe would be a good next step. So let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what all this does offer. Now uh, let's grab ourselves a Mark 1 command pod for size comparison's sake, and then turn on our janitor's closet mod filter. Now I should point out now that uh, I am still in version 1.3.1, as most mods still have yet to be updated to the latest 1.4 version of the game, so do keep that in mind. And with that, let's take a look at the first part here, the BBBP-001 probe core. And there we go, a very cool and unique looking probe core, which I definitely like. This was the big reason I wanted to look at this mod is I, I do love building satellites, but the same old, same old ones we have in stock get kind of boring, and so I like seeing new, interesting probe core shapes. Now, as for the stats on this thing, it is, of course, an unmanned command pod with a built-in data transmitter reaction wheel SAS, a 300 electric charge, and 40 monopropellant, and overall is quite beautifully made. I do like both the modeling and texturing on this thing, and is just a cool little command pod. Well, probe core. And then the next one we have here is the BBBP-02. Again, a very uniquely shaped probe core, which is awesome. This one, again, unmanned command pod, data transmitter, reaction wheel, SAS, 350 on the electric charge and 50 monopropellant. And again, just another very cool looking one. Now we get to a more, shall we, I don't want to say boring because of course CubeSats are fun, but a more typically shaped satellite probe core, I guess, with the C-Cube 6.25 with a built-in data transmitter, reaction wheel, SAS, a 400 electric charge and 40 monopropellant and is of course a cube which only has uh, attachment points on the top and bottom, which uh, for me, for a cube-shaped one, I would prefer if it had a few more attachment points on the side, but still a very useful cube-based satellite probe core. Now the next one we have here is the DT-001, which is supposed to be a telescope satellite system, uh, which does look the part, but it doesn't have actually a scientific experiment for a, you know, telescope. What it does have, of course, is being an unmanned command pod with data transmitter, reaction wheel, SAS, 400 electric charge, and 30 monopropellant. And is pretty cool looking, and as I said, does look the part of a telescope. And, well, you actually can kind of fix that with another part we'll look at later on. Now let's uh, chuck that back in and grab the next one, the DT-004, which is sort of a more traditionally shaped probe core as per, you know, the stock sort of probe cores, and is pretty basic there, but uh, is of course, or does have rather, a data transmitter, SAS, 400 electric charge, and 40 monopropellant. The next thing we do have is the IUE, which is a uh, probe core that does actually have a built-in telescope that is a functioning science experiment. If I do go down to here, we have the log visual observation observations. And beyond that, we of course have a data transmitter, curb net access with scan terrain, reaction wheel, SAS, 400 electric charge, 18 liquid fuel, 30 monopropellant, and 22 oxidizer. And overall is a very cool looking little thing. I do really enjoy it. And let's uh, 
Hmm, actually, I guess we can you know, kind of finagle it around maybe to get a better view of that uh, bottom bit. Not really, unfortunately. But yes, as you can see, a very interesting bottom section to it with a bit of uh, cabling and, of course, a attachment node for you to then attach it to the rest of your things. But overall, a very cool one, and I do enjoy having a functional telescope built in to the probe core. Now, like I said, this one... We can fix that later, but I do like this one being built in. Now the next part we have is the Kerbis 1000, which again, unmanned command pod with reaction wheel SAS, 500 electric charge, and 40 mono propellant. And this thing is, well, just kind of a big beast of a thing. That's actually attached to the bottom so you can see just uh, a couple of the more interesting details that are on that particular portion of the probe core. Very nice looking. I do enjoy that one and would make for some interestingly shaped satellites. Now the next one we have is the RKC Tribus 2 and this, well this is basically just a big hunk of metal and I like that for some reason. But yes, as you can see, a very interestingly shaped probe core. And this one, of course, with a data transmitter reaction wheel, SAS, 800 electric charge, and 100 mono propellant. And of course, attachment points on the top and bottom. I would love to see an attachment point right in here, but oh well, we at least have the two. And finally, we have the SAR bus, which if we pop on there is another interestingly shaped probe core and of course does have a data transmitter reaction wheel SAS 500 electric charge and a hundred mono propellant and there we are that is all the probe cores now I'm actually gonna pop this one back on so we can as I say fix it here in a little bit but let's uh, head down so we have nothing in fuel tanks nothing in engines in command and control though we have the CRK gyro reaction wheel which as it says is just a simple spinning wheel and it can be radially attached as you can see there and it's just a very interesting part cool to add you know a little bit of extra detail to the outside of your uh, satellites and of course is a functioning reaction wheel, which is always good. Now we have nothing in structural, coupling, payload, aerodynamics, ground, or thermal, but moving into electrical, we do have the Contaris IUE photovoltaic panels, which is a nice little uh, solar panel there, fits nicely with these particular shapes, and of course does deploy outward, and does have tracking, so it looks like a fairly solid uh, solar panel but it will actually rotate around and spin to get the best tracking angle on the sun. So overall, a good little solar panel. Now in communications, we have two things. The Flat HG I1A data transmitter with an antenna rating of 500k. And uh, yeah, just a tiny little, tiny little antenna there. Look at that. Very small. And then we also have the Flat HG Relay IIB. And uh, yeah, it's just a large flat antenna you can slap onto things. There you go. It does require an attachment point, so no radial connections for this one, unlike the smaller one here. But overall, both two good little uh, antennae. And then we have in science, which is where we can fix this telescope by adding you know, an actual telescope with curb net access, scan mode terrain, and of course, an activate optical reconnaissance science experiment. And we can pop that right in there. And there we go. It now actually is a uh, telescope satellite which is awesome. And uh, yeah, that actually is it, as we have nothing in utility. So a pretty small little parts mod, but it adds a nice little selection of parts for building probes and satellites, which I very much enjoy. I mean, come on, who doesn't need more probe cores? It's just good. So let's go out into the world and take a look at just a quick satellite that I threw together. It's, as with most of my creations for this series, not the greatest thing in the world, but it's functional and can give you a bit of an idea of where you could potentially go with, you know, a little bit more imagination, which <laughs> isn't hard to think about with me. So yeah, let's make sure this is, oh, no, 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 radial in, there we go, perfect, excellent. And as you can see, the tracking on the solar panels, always nice, we got a number of those gyros showing off in the back just to make it look a bit more, I don't know, 
techy slash sci-fi, I guess. And, of course, our lovely telescope, which, uh, you know, can take some lovely images of the galaxy if we actually right-click and activate. And there we go. We took apparently a one gigabyte per second is uh, stored from this camera. There we are. Lovely. And overall, a fun little pack of a number of good probe cores and a small selection of other miscellaneous parts. But a very fun mod nonetheless, and one I would definitely say that you should go and check out for yourself. Now, if you would like to, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. And like I said at the beginning, this is now a one of a part of a series of mods being made by H. Raban, and we'll be taking a look at those over the next couple of weeks, perhaps intermittently interrupted by another interesting mod that I find. But yeah, a lot of cool parts out there to take a look at, so I do hope you come back for those, but that's going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next, but until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!